you know, make an educated guess and say that wasn't always that way. That wasn't what? That wasn't always that way. Also, instead of the, your usual entrance, you come in over here. Yeah. Where do we come in at? Top right. Oh man. Top right. Why? Yeah, why is there a fighting. fucking cat there? Because. Because people didn't want it to be a spider. <sighs> also, so I could hit someone with a giant cat tail and knock them sure. prone. That too. Right. Someone did back to get hit by a giant ta cat tail. I think Jem was one of them. I'm waiting oh. for the cat to assume that everyone is like a toy or a mouse. <laughs> we all just get attacked by a giant cat. I mean, that cat is big. Yeah, that is like that is a gar that is a gargant. Sorry, not gargantuan. Which what's the biggest one humongous? again? Yeah, that is a humongous plus monster. If you go by block size, that's a big pussy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Anyway, uh, Axel DMs. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I always have to cycle between three people. I, 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 I love you, buddy, but I'm gonna start kind of reminding you more often now. You're not here. This is also true. Oh, I'm I'm here, but I'm just doing other things. No. He's also sucking it up. <laughs> really? But yeah, you guys have made it here, and uh, George is like, continue following me. Janorak's place is just across the field here. This is our territory, so we shouldn't have any big problems, hopefully. <laughs> And you come up to this giant pig, and on top of it is a house. And there's like a little ladder to climb up the pig and get into the house on the pig. That's awesome. Thank you. Jem, can you do any dope uh, acrobat shit to get up on that house? Let's see, can I do any dope acrobat shit to get up on the house? <laughs> Two or one and take damage. I baited her into it. <laughs> Teen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you do some like fancy like. Have you ever seen the the ladder hanging? I'm gonna take that as a no. Yeah. The no. what? There's there's like uh. And like acrobat tricks that involve a ladder and most of them are not very spectac spectacular and you basically do some of those like I've seen something yeah it's, it's you have probably seen them but not known what they were called or like what they yeah they're I hold up a sign that says 5.4 and climb up the ladder the gin, the, genie. the gin holds a sign that says 5 <laughs> and then oh, and then he does a triple Backflip with a spinning pirouette up the ladder because he rolled a 19. Hell yeah. <laughs> I Get climb up the ladder like a human being. Like a half elf. I climb up the ladder like a civilized person. Same. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. In which case, we can go into his tent, which. I mean, I could do a whole new thing for the tent, but let's be honest, it'd, it'd be a lot of wasted time. It's, it's a tent. It's a tent. It's a nice tent. It, you know, it's a nice tent, but it's a tent. It's on top of a pig. That's pretty cool. It is. But there's a lion able to go up there. <laughs> uh, that is up to the lion. Yeah. Heck yeah, he is. He's like, can the lion yeah, climb a ladder? Cats can climb trees. That's not a ladder. <laughs> it's made of trees. <laughs> I feel it's like there are good arguments being made in both situations. <laughs> and that's also like saying paper is money. Fine, I will roll a dexterity check. <laughs> Ten. Oh no. I mean, that's basic. That's average to climb, so. 
it like should get him up there. Trying to attack him as well. <laughs> it's like, goddamn, you missed your ladder save. Now you die. <laughs> That would have sucked for the doll if he fell. Right? Because <laughs> then the doll would be left out of the conversation. I know. The lion couldn't climb. Pat, pat, there, there, lion. <laughs> I'm even more jealous. <laughs> the the doll has had so much more physical interaction with the Rego right now. Yes. Yeah. I tried to pet she's, it and it growled at me. She's been on that cat for a while. Yeah, she's been riding the pussy. I was just gonna say <laughs> <laughs> They've gotten real close. Q Zane's grumbles. He's fine with it, apparently. Okay. You know what that means, though. We're gonna have to do it more now. <laughs> anyway, as you, uh, you know, do your thing, as you, you know, climb the thing, and you enter the tent on top, but uh, when you enter, you don't go into a tent. You end up into a veritable castle, basically. And I'm talking, like, this thing seems like it should be the size of the carnival castle. Hmm. Uh, standing at the, like, you know, gates or whatever are two big-ass demons. Do they recognize me? It's <laughs> worth the roll. <laughs> Always. It's definitely Always. worth the roll. Uh, 71 and... 44. No, they don't. He's gotten us out of two skirmishes now. One and a half. The gin one wasn't really a skirmish. It was more of a uh, fuck with you. Really, you guys have stealthed out of most of your shit. Uh, I need a stealth worse. <laughs> I need to uh, get things with better passive perception because both of the characters I had ready to fight you guys were fucking passive perception 10. Oof. The raccoon Which and is pretty the... fucking common actually. It's really The bad. raccoon and um... It's annoying though. Fucking... What's his name? Siegfried. Roy. He's the masochist. Oh both yeah, Gassicus the masochist. Yeah. Both fights were avoided because uh... They recognize me. Wait, who was the first one? Gasicus the masochist, and then oh. the raccoon. I don't know if the <laughs> raccoon was a fight either. Yeah, I don't well, think that also, was. also the raccoon. Also the raccoon. I can see them having a fight with the raccoon, where just, the raccoon just like just lunges to, through their face and scratches the just shit Just to them. give you some yeah, context. Raccoon. You did not avoid the fight with the raccoon. The raccoon went and snitched on you to the fucking things that were looking for you. <gasps> Fucking rip. <laughs> Rude. Well, technically he is Rodentia, but. Hey, hey, did the did the rodent ever hear about how snitches get stitches? Find that raccoon again. I wanna fight things. Although, um, Axel. Sorry, I'm working on both two different ones. <sighs> So sweaty, I had to switch headphones. I switch headsets to my other ear. <laughs> but yeah, as you come in, uh, you know, these two big ass demons are sitting there with their arms crossed, looking very bodyguardish. Uh, George comes in, he bows, he says, Good to see you, Janarak. I have the people that were thinking about joining us. 
I know it's late in the battle, but any troops are good troops. Uh, you're the most charismatic among us. Do your best to not be a jackass. And then he walks out. Can, <laughs> At which can point... I... What's that? Oh my god. <laughs> You just say, do your best to not be a jackass. Yep, at which point Janarag steals back, I resent that! Can but he's not wrong, though. Can I see if Janarag recognizes me? Yes. 91. Oh, nice. He does. He does. I know you. You remind me of a little girl who came here several hundred years ago. Or was it only a hundred? Neither. I'm not that old yet. Hmm. Are you the other one, then? I must be. <laughs> I don't Are have a good... One? I don't have a I'm good a... thing for names. I'm when you live as long as I do, and you see just one of his eyes pop out, things seem to get a little... wacky. <laughs> I laugh at the eye popping out, but I'm, like, secretly kind of grossed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an, uh, uh, like, almost hysterical laugh. It's, it's... I'm only 35, so I couldn't be right a hundred years ago. I'm Carly. Oh, you are the one. Sorry. 100 years, 200 years, 300 years. They're all the same to people like me. Isn't that right, Josh? And the demon on the left goes, blah, blah, blah. You're no fun, Josh. Hmm. In case anyone is wondering how that's spelled. He had dreams of being a playwright. But I digress. Uh, Janrax says, Welcome! I would love to hear all of your names. I assume you know mine, but if you don't, my name's Janrax. And I think there's something wrong at this carnival. Lee, what's wrong at the carnival? Everything! And then fire ups from the floor in a circle around you. Where does fire erupt from the floor? Because I'm very flammable. Let's see. Uh, to be fair, once again, we're not actually here, but for reference. So fucking all over us. Around you. Oh, so there's like a ring? Yeah, there's like three rings. Rings of fire. Radical. Yeah, I fell into three rings of fire. Huh. So we're trapped by fire. Cool. Awesome. So what is it you believe is wrong with this carnival? I believe something or someone, specifically Zarathos, is starting a war. But I don't know why. Then why do you... What would he gain from starting this war? Control of the whole carnival? I don't know, Jan. He's never been this way before. We have run this carnival together for almost 600 years, maybe. And suddenly, 50 years ago, for no reason, out of the blue, he stopped replying to my fucking crow mail. I was hurt. I did what anyone would do. I killed his T-Rex. And he was angry about it, so I brought it back to life. And then it almost killed us. Wait, what? <laughs> what did you what did you what did you do to Rexy? It's short we, for anorexia, he won't anything. eat. We didn't do anything. Mm. Also, I've heard I've heard rumors. Rumors from from the other side of the carnival that you're the one starting the war. Who would claim such a thing? I can't. 
can't really say who the rumors have come from. Well, then how what could you is? say they're viable? Did you send someone out to start recruiting for you? Well, yes, I did. More so as a defense measure. You see, we are woefully behind in fighting the numbers that he has already gained. We estimate that he has more than half of the carnival at his disposal. And he's still recruiting. Constantly. For what? I do not know. And I'll tell you, he's not even telling the people he's recruiting what he's recruiting for. That's troubling. Did you go and meet with him? I have not met with him, but he wants me on his side. He wants everyone on his side. No offense, dear. What oh. makes what Go makes ahead. the side side better than the other? That's the thing. There is no better side. This war is pointless. The dark, or, sorry. Carnival masquerade only works because of both sides. That's how it's always been. But lately, both sides don't seem to be at balance anymore. Only Zarathos would truly know the answers. What exactly happened 50 years ago? Well, there was the whole T-Rex thing. But besides that, it's kind of a fuzzy year. I mean, it was 50 years ago. Time kind of blends together. I think we had a puppy at that time, right? <laughs> Jockstiff, did we have a puppy at that time? Yeah, sure. No, sir. <laughs> you know, the yeah. funny thing is that was totally unrelated. It's just, it's just spitballing. Maybe subconsciously related. So there's nothing other than the T-Rex that you killed that happened 50 years ago. So he just randomly started acting weird? I mean, there's nothing that I can remember. He just, as far as I can remember, he just seemed to go crazy one day out of the blue. In fact, it was on a, it was on the celebration of the 500 and, or sorry, 470th. It was weird. Insight check. Finally, I've been waiting for someone to do anything about that. It was like he's been talking for so long. No one is at all. They're just like, yeah, I mean, it seems legit. Is there anything that if it is found to be So that worth is a natural checking? 20. That's fair. Ooh. 23. So nat 20, I mean, he seems to be telling the truth. Uh, however, uh, we oh. are talking once again about a lich. Gosh. For those who don't remember, Janarak is a lich, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, they are infamous for being a little devious. Evil. So, you're sure absolutely nothing you remember? Nothing you're leaving out? Let me make a roll here. What the? Oh, sorry, that was someone else's role. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, he's like, mm, no, but my memory is a bit foggy. Living inside of a jewel for all of eternity will do that to you. In Inside a jewel? Well, yes. What? In okay, sure. Inside a jewel. That may as well happen today. So you do not want this war? No. Inside and check. Yeah, I want to do that too. I'll let y'all do that. Because Jen's too focused on what she's about to ask. 19. 17. Gotcha. <laughs> So no, he doesn't want this war. Not this war. No, you can okay. you can tell that from his like emphasis. It's like this is not the war he wants. 
Not that he does not want war, just not this particular war. Also, you can question. absolutely uh, you can absolutely sense undead from this guy. I mean, it shouldn't shouldn't really be a question. He's a lich. I mean, yeah. he's a lich. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Just saying, in case anyone was wondering. I've heard rumors about about is it zombies. Is that what I was told? Is that what he told us? Yeah. I've heard rumors about zombies. Do you know anything about that? Like, on what's his face's side? On... Zerathos? Yeah, that side. Well. Do you know anything about them? Well, I did resurrect Rexy as an apology. Other than. But I will say there's been an abnormal amount of strange creatures, even for the carnival on your side, the good top. Our side has always been full of weird and strange looking things. And as if to emphasize that point, a beholder is just like walks up with a coffee cup held by one of its eye tendrils and sips it, nods, and then just floats off. Does he recognize uh, me? Uh, yeah, I wanted to see if that was. Oh, like see, now you can't. Yeah, I know. Beholder. I'm getting. I know. Legitimately <laughs> fair. Sixty-one. It does not know me. It does not me. I don't know what a seventy-eight does. I uh, think you're newer than me. So yeah, I know. you you would have a pretty high one to get anybody to know you. Oh, it's big in carnival. Also, I can't have everyone <laughs> obviously knowing everyone, or we stop having as many fights. Granted, sometimes I cop out of those, but you know, sometimes you guys actually get out of those with that. I'm like, fuck. Someday, somebody is gonna know me and fucking hate my guts. That that was actually the raccoon. It actually didn't hate you though. It was just madly jealous. Ooh, jealous of me. Gosh, yeah. jealous of me. I don't know. Gosh, yeah. Maybe you don't, because you didn't talk Bless to it. Dice. Bless the dice. I'd sure. like I'd like to think it was uh, jealous of the fact that uh, you are the uh, de facto. I don't know. I don't know. The, the, the raccoon didn't actually have a good reason to be jealous. I didn't think that far for the raccoon. I did make it. <laughs> I wanna... What do you mean you didn't give motivation to a raccoon? Look, I'm usually better about this. Usually the raccoon would have had a motivation. I mean, I'm, I'm giving you one, kind of. I mean, maybe she didn't talk to it. It's true. That's true. Maybe, maybe he, he, she'd seen this thing around, but she forgot about it and promised to talk to it, but never did. God, I'm trying to <laughs> Okay, I want to insight check the fact that while he is aware of them, he doesn't know anything about why they're there. believe him fully that's an eight yeah you, you believe his word enough. is gospel to you hashtag the realist and that's the gospel truth and that's the gospel truth. but yeah Janarag looks around and he's like you know I know it's hard to trust me because you know I'm evil and don't get me wrong any other day of the week I would splatter your guts across the floor and dance in them. But I have a feeling that you might be able to figure out what the f is going on with my carnival. Excuse me, there's no cursing around the baby demons. <laughs> and there's. You... They're babies? But, yes. We are okay. getting. That is. Yeah, who cares? Uh, Their mother, and you do you... not want to see her. <laughs> you would like us to fight in your war, or would you like us to... I want you to try and stop the war. I don't know if you noticed, but you're not very high on the picking pole around here. No offense. I mean, I'm pretty I sure... Really crap about this me. Here, I'm pretty sure either of these two demons to my left or right could wreck your whole group. Well, I mean, so many people have recognized me so far today. So, it's true. Maybe I'm pretty okay. You recognized me. Yeah, but I didn't remember your name. 
Who says my name? It, it does not. It does not matter what face you have. If you are not on their side, death will come to you. So we should end this war before it comes trying to knock on your door. I agree. The only good way to stop a war is to stop it before it starts. Else, now, why is there will said be... before it starts. But we have news that this has already started in the south. Mm. There are skirmishes, to be sure. And I wouldn't go south for the lack of fighting. But we've never lacked skirmishes. The, the real change would be if something big were to happen, something monumentally changing, an attack on the actual carnival, for instance. Are you prepping defenses? Sorry, one more time. Are you prepping defenses? We are. The people in the south are part of that. I fear that were they not there as a stopgap measure that the war would already be at our doorstep. So you believe that the attack will come from the south? I do. At least. And what, what makes you think? Currently we have sources, as I'm sure they do, unfortunately, feeding us information. It's how we were able to contact you, our sources on the other side. In fact, I think a few of them you knew. Hmm. Well, not you particularly, but, you know, the other two. Right. At which point Roy pops his head and he's like, You know, I know this is a really busy time. Get the fuck out of here, Roy. All right, I'll come back later. Still want dental for the elephants? Maybe Roy had something important to say. No, he just he keeps really asking for an elephant no. dental plan. He seemed like an idiot the moment I saw him. Well, I you mean... You weren't wrong. Yeah, but you should probably give some more attention to your people who you work who work. Dental plan. They don't even have dental plan. Was that out of character or in character? <laughs> that was out of character. I was hoping someone would say Lisa needs braces. Oh, God. Lisa needs braces. Oh, man. <laughs> Classic episode. Uh, but yeah, he says... Oh, go, go ahead. Uh, he was just going to say, but yes, there is... Only way I see this ending is if I and Zarathos are able to meet in a neutral location alone and able to figure out what is causing this massive disruption in the carnival. Side check. I think he wants to kill him when they get alone. That's a seven. I don't know shit. Yeah, you, you, uh, you don't know. Yeah, I want to do this too. <laughs> You see um, only with her like skeptical expression. Is it a perception check? That would uh, be insight. Yeah, it's insight. Uh, That's a nine. He just wants to talk to him. I got a dirty twenty. Jesus! What are your stats for this character? Oh, she's Actually, got they're really I good. A nineteen, and I had like a one on. Yeah. Right. But like every and plus your dice, everything you roll is like no, gold. No, that's not true. I had a couple of shit rolls, but it was for it's an important shit. It just so happens. She <laughs> loses most of her shit rolls rolling at me for for little stuff on the side, like trying to mess with you guys. Yeah. That's why you don't get messed with quite as much as usual. Yeah. And Axel in the meantime? Um, yet. <laughs> Any chance I can get so much wrong? Because I answered. Sorry. Dude. There we go. It didn't show up on my message thing. And yeah. Uh, what was the insight check? The gun 20 you said, Tiffany? So you can tell he's hiding something. He wants to do something when they get together, but it's dirty twenty. Yeah. So you can tell he's hiding something. All right. Um. 
Um, you, you, you think he's going to do something, but you can't tell what it is. Just that he's definitely going to do something else. What are you going to do when you get alone together? You're going to make out. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> that no came too pretty quick. We don't do that anymore. I mean, we don't do that. Uh, I rolled like a... A fifteen to to whisper to shit. What's his what's your name? There you Vita. go. Or Evita. Evita. That there's something off with, with what he's saying. Did you say fourteen? No. Fifteen. Oh, damn it. That meets my passive perception. My passive is fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it. You hear something, but you don't know where it is. <laughs> but I hear it. It's true. <laughs> it's okay. She's wise, but she's dumb. So she don't know what it is. Now, you'll see that all this attacking is in the south. Have all skirmishes before all of this issue... Have they always been in the south? Yes, actually. Surprisingly. Well, whenever we have a south, obviously, we've only... We have different locations as we travel, but usually there are two routes of travel with the, the carnivals being so big and the way we set them up. The north route and the south route. And invariably, the south is always where the skirmishes happen. No one ever goes north for some reason. South different than the north. Don't say direction. Oh god, so much. Hey! I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry I'm adding to it, I but... It. <laughs> been doing I feel like mine's simple. Everyone has saying, and like, you're just like on it. Sorry about that. No! No. I should also mention that things are starting to wind down at this point of the carnival. Like, most of the people are gone. It's probably, like, 3 or 4 in the morning mm -hmm. at this point. You know, it's mostly just carny workers, and even they're, like, closing up and packing up to get headed to sleep. So fucking tired. Yeah, your character's it's need fucking rest. <laughs> I got, like, two spells in me. Does anybody else have any questions for this? Yeah. I feel like... What makes the South different than the North? It's a good question. And don't say direction. Did... Do you say did... did was, oh, go ahead. Did, uh... Dissection? Don't say direction. Dissection? <laughs> Dissection. He's, yes, dissection. Is there split? I, I get you. Yes, I get you. De 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 uh, de deception. I don't know. De your puns, your puns get a little rusty after a couple hundred years. You know, they worked a hundred years ago. Maybe. No, you. No, you have. You, said you laughed at that same joke a hundred years ago. I'm just. You have said that there has been an increased activity of of undead. Does it seem to be originating from the south? It, uh, it does. Actually, it seems to be originating from the good top, which is a little crazy. Have you... Now, you say you have P 
people on that side? Have they tried looking into that specifically, or are they just looking to try and figure out what the Zarathos is up to? They're mostly keeping tabs on Zarathos, not on the new zombies, but... I hadn't thought of that before, I just assumed zombies. I mean, I'm a lich, why not zombies? Right. I... Death and undeath, I... that, you know. Same thing. Well, you know plenty about magics, and you know that there's probably abilities that could change one's nature. What if somehow someone or something has infiltrated Zarathoth himself? Are you suggesting Zarathos is compromised? There's one way to you find out. Yeah, you said yourself that he seemed different. Well, I mean, yeah, but people change after a couple hundred years, right? Suddenly. Hmm. Yes, it seems more more things change gradually. He he like puts his hand up to his chin and like strokes it and like some flesh falls off while he does that. He's like, you've given me a lot to think about, but I need more information. I need to know what Zarathos is doing. I have an idea that might get you that. Go ahead, speak up. Much like Ivica here was brought to speak with you. I could probably get a meeting with Zarathos. Since, since I've been approached by them. So the the and she tries to count how many's with her that came from the other side. The ten of us <laughs> well, there are four. Who'd I miss? You just you just see one of the fucking you just see one of the demons like counting on his fingers and his tail. I I hold up my hand. One. There is me. One. There is you. Five. No, no. There is me. One. Have you? You. Have you met girl? You. You. You would get along great. So one. <laughs> there is Carly. Twelve. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean over to Carly. You really need to teach that girl something. Yeah. You just hear Janerick say, "Have you met Gollum? He loves people like you." I, uh, I ended up teaching her to pan flute instead of counting. How do you teach her to you know, music better than counting? Music involves counting. Music is counting. One, two, Listen. three, four. One, two. Th as long as you can keep a beat, you don't necessarily need the numbers. But you do to no beat number. Is it you know, is four or five? The, come in on the four or come in on the two. What if I must play three sixteenths, damn Beethoven and <laughs> There's triplets and there's quarter notes and what is she supposed to know? She thinks triplet is a vegetable <laughs> She plays quarter note as eggplant. She took to it naturally like a fish to water. He didn't really need the full detail work of it. You are quite a <laughs> duel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this. Anyway, what were we talking about? I we were talking time. about you going to uh, undercover to see uh, yes. what the Zarathos has going wrong with him. But I believe that's a good I, idea. I do think, though, this is a very dangerous endeavor. What can you ha what can you do to protect us? 
What can you give us? You just see, yeah, like, a giant one. Giant shadow, like, rise up behind him as if flames were clustering in front of him. And the sounds of a million dying angels scream. He's like, you would request of me? And he's like, yeah, what do you want? Like, 10, 10 an hour? 15? 16? Gold? What do you, what do you need? Yeah, I mean, gold, Very nice. uh, anything, any magical items maybe that could help us. Mm. What do you think would help you to do this? Oh, shit. First of uh, all, we would require that we have ease of access between the two camps. Yes, all these traps. That's a good one. I can only yes. promise that my people will not stop you. Also, That's we didn't we set is. those traps in the north, just so you know. I don't know who that. said I also didn't we didn't set those traps in the north just so you know hmm. I think it should be pretty Inside obvious track. by the fact that we lost an elephant and a guy Insight check Go for it 11 plus 3 is 14 I'm proud of you you backed Thank you yeah, you did not uh, insight well enough, though. So he looks no. at you and he's just like, "Yeah, no, uh, no, I miss Greg. He was a valuable part of the orc fighting ring. Which, by the way, you guys also took out three of those guys. Thank you very much." No, I wouldn't know. Are you sure? I got a slave request form from, from Gunter again. You need to tell him Listen. that he's not allowed to take slaves from here anymore. I told him last time. Listen, Gunter is doing his own fucking thing, and you can you can pretty much tell she's a little annoyed at Gunter. Gunter is doing his thing. That doesn't really involve me. I don't know. I didn't I didn't do anything to any of your fighters. Anything he does doesn't necessarily reflect on us. Ooh, that's one hundred percent true. I which my statement was one hundred percent true. Not. Not like the statement I made about the T-Rex, which I actually did technically kill the first time. Yeah, I know. My insight's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, if you haven't noticed, I'm about 900 years old. My deception is super high. It's a plus six. Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> What are we? What is all these numbers with all this? What are we talking about? Uh, you know, just quantifying the fourth wall. It's fine. You can uh, do that we when are you're measuring dick sizes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't have yeah, one anymore. It rotted off a long time ago. But. Oh, then mine. Mine's bigger than his. Bigger is not always better. He cries to he himself. Use it. <laughs> it is with the bards. Just because Bunch. it's big doesn't mean you know how to use it. <laughs> Aggressively bard sexual. <laughs> I am uh, I am behind this. I'm too lazy to do a rest. <laughs> <laughs> this idea of magical items, possibly. Ah, uh, yeah. I think maybe our situation might involve some more elusive and stealthy operations. Mm. Do you seem to have anything that might help us in those endeavors? I might. I might have something that helps. Let's see. Do you have something if I get hit a lot? It helps me feel better. I feel like armor to make it harder for us to be hit in the first place? Way of that. I don't know what armor I can actually wear as a bard. I think yours is just light. So I should say in your proficiencies, there's a section for armor. Uh, light armor. I can wear light armor. Yeah, so like simple leathers and stuff. What armor do I have? At least leather. Is that the best I can wear? Um, let's see, simple armor. Without being magical, probably. Or maybe studded leather. Uh, that might be medium. I have no idea this is. I don't know. Handbook. Um, studded leather is still light. It is, yeah. Uh, let's see, the light armors are padded, which is 11 plus dex, leather, which is 11 plus dex, and studded leather, which is 12 plus dex, so, yeah. 
you get a plus one to your armor if you so if I had studded leather, I would ha I would be one harder to hit. Even though yeah. I, this whole campaign, I haven't been hit yet. <laughs> Keep talking your way out of fights. Yeah, it's I mean, because I'm a bard, I know nothing else. I, I know not what I do. <laughs> Get the f me some chips. <laughs> um, Listen, I'm not gonna say So no. he says, so you want something to hide as you make this stealthy journey. Yes, yeah, something, something. I believe to would be best. something to help us. We may need to. Who knows? Zarathos might be a little bit more aggressive when we go to him. I have so no. We might need to do things a little bit underneath the crow's eye. Well then, I think I will grant you two separate sets of magical items one which i need you to return and one which you may keep i believe that is fair enough the first are the gm glasses <laughs> gm glasses oh. these oh are very special glasses indeed I spent months slaving away over these. And then like three seconds thinking of all the effects that they would do. Plus two to perception. Okay. Plus six to oh, stealth. Dang. Woof. Three to charisma. charisma. Ooh! If I got those, if I got those, would my charisma bonus be an eight? Probably. Is it, is it, is it what are you at right now? My charisma okay, so is 20 and my charisma bonus is plus five. No, it does not work that yeah, way. Yeah, no, no, you no. This is go above a 20 unless you have an item that allows you to go above or a set yeah. feet that yes. allows you to go above 20. And these would be for checks as opposed to passive stats. So it's plus three charisma, but it's plus three to charisma checks, not to passive charisma. Gotcha. Just to be a little more specific about that. And uh, just for... Oh, sorry. Sorry, here's their special feature. Ooh. Ooh. Very interesting. Very, very nifty indeed. And here's your visual reference. Oh god, it was such a big link. I'll put it in Discord. To Discord for the images. Oh yeah. There you go. And for those who don't know, the GM stands for Groucho Marx. <laughs> oh, I thought it I thought it standard for Game, Game Master. Master. Yeah, I know. That's why I did it. <laughs> no, they're the Groucho Marx classes. I love it. Okay. What's the other what's the other item? And the next item he pulls out and this he says this is uh this is the item that you absolutely are gonna have to return to me which is okay because the item itself will help with that and he pulls out a rod that seems to be made of four pieces and he starts to disconnect the pieces which is it's pretty simple it looks like you press a button and they like pop apart and he hands one of the pieces to each of you and he says this is the rod of coming together And he, he basically says, what you're going to have to do is everyone put it together. One piece on top of each other right now. With the bottommost portion the, of the floor. I'll take yeah. Drago's piece. <laughs> That's fair. Quote unquote Drago's piece. Yes. Drago's piece. You do not know that the doll is sentient. <laughs> 
kind of weird that you give the lion a piece, but okay. I hold my piece out for stacking. And he says, now you will speak the words. Come together right now. Over me. <laughs> I, I will leave that to Instead of like, for stacking, she holds it sideways so it's facing horizontal instead of vertical. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, though, no, that'll that might fuck the, the spell. <laughs> I kind of look at her before I just put my other hand, just kind of turn her wrist <laughs> and gently put mine on top of hers. <laughs> Gotta love those intelligence rolls. All right, I gotta get back to my side. Conversations. Uh, and then I and then I say, come together. And uh, as soon as you do that, everybody like disappears and then reappears exactly where they were standing. And how long Gener- does that last? Generic says, uh, and that's what that does. Oh, does it poof us to you or you to us? It will poof you to this exact spot where you have first planted it, so that wherever you are in trouble. If you can put those four pieces together, you will come back here. And I will have chocolate waiting. Wait, what? Is it like a cool treat? Yeah. Like a cool treat, or is it just like a chocolate bar? It's like a nice chocolate drink. We don't know what they call it. They call it cow cow where it's from. Oh, I, have, I, have heard, I have heard that liches make very good chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. I, I also ask one last thing. Send some scouts to the south. See if there is something unnatural. Down here. I have a feeling that it might not be their thoughts, and I feel that it may come from the south. You are you seem a wise person, Louista. I believe sorry. Louisa. No, he said it wrong and Evita doesn't care. To be fair, he says everything wrong. That's true. <laughs> In fact, I'm not even sure he knows how to pronounce his own name. <laughs> he pronounces a cataracts too. And who is this coming into the tent? Wedge enters the tent. I pull out my fucking crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna let this roll out. Say, um, <laughs> seeing Carly turn around with the crossbow, uh, Jem has her um, quarterstaff ready. What do you want? I just, I just kind of put my hands up. Oh, that's that's a hell of a greeting, isn't it? A little on edge tonight. Just Who the f- you. is this guy? And what's he doing in the tent? Where are our guards? And he looks over at these guy. two, and he's like, "Oh, right." <laughs> I say, I don't know who this guy is. Uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just wait outside until you're done with all these people. Hold on. And I put my crossbow away and I say, get the fuck in here. God damn it. No, no, that's that's fine. I'll wait. I'll let you all finish your <laughs> I'm, go- I'm going on beat first. <laughs> I'm annoyed at you, Bill. But but uh uh when when you've got a moment to generac, I, I I need to speak with you. After you're done with these folk. I look at As them. he leaves the tent again. <laughs> I look at Jem. Out of character, I would know what your stealth is. How stealthy are you, Jem? Um, plus six. Plus six for stealth? Yeah. Um, okay. I hand you the glasses, and I just give you a look. What? Oh, heck yeah! What? I'm not even thought of here? Hold on. Well, okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I, I, I didn't. I, I'm sorry. I, I should have mentioned this. Everybody gets a pair of those. Oh, everyone gets a pair. Okay. Oh hell yeah. Oh, 
Pulka, yeah. Pulka, say! Oh, that's not fucking broken. Who is everyone? Does Who is does, everyone? Does, does Drago get one too? <laughs> yes. Lion yes. shaped. Oh, God. What about the doll? Drago. Just yes. telling you now, Dragos are the dolls. Yeah. So, so, just to be fair though, I would know Gem better than I would know you. Technically. So, I, I hold up the glasses that I have instead of, I thought everyone just had to share. I hold up the glasses. There was only one pair. Yeah, I thought that's what that was, but no, we all get one. So I hold up the glasses and I give her a look. She nods and sneaks out the door. Okay. Uh, then I turn back to the lich and I'm like, and I'm like, thank you for, thank you for these, these, um, these gifts. I, I have to wonder though, do you have any, any like health potions in case we do get hit? I, I can heal, but I am kind of low on healing spells. And they're both outside, right? Gem and Wedge are both outside. Yeah, I believe she said she left her. Yeah. To follow okay. him. And then I whisper. We'll just do this for now. I I whisper to Jenny, so that anyone who's outside can't hear me. I say, now I just want Jem to just listen to what Wedge is gonna say. Nothing against you. I just don't trust Wedge. Who did you whisper that to? The the Jenny to the Lich. Oh. Yeah. Because I don't want him to kill Jem. I don't want him to kill Jem. I just don't trust Wedge. He fucked up my, my performance. Fair enough. I was doing so good. And then he shot a dude. Not to give reason either, but just putting this in perspective that he also just randomly showed up in a tent in the middle of the night with no information or pre-direction. Yeah, him, between past events and him showing up now, this is shifty as fuck. Plus, I did say next time I saw him, I'd get my crossbow out, so I did that. <laughs> um, yeah. Side things are happening. Jim, what's your passive yes. perception? Sorry, my mic keep. Oh, passive yeah. perception is fifteen. Okay. Oh no. But you get a plus two to perception. Oh snap! Does that does that affect passive? Yes, if you're wearing them right now. I am. Then um, yes. That makes it seventeen then. Okay. Oh. <laughs> My passive is dope, then. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty crazy wearing those things. An 18 passive. <laughs> Let's go. Like... God, if we wear those, if we wear those, the doll has to roll such good stealth. Here's the thing. I had a thing with the doll earlier. And she rolled a freaking natural 20 on stealth. Also, also, here's the thing. She gets Drago's glasses and can make yep. her look like anything. And can make her look like she is now without the glasses and still have a plus six to stealth. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to even trounce us more. With herself. She's just gonna vanish off the face of the earth. Oh wait, I get a plus six on stealth? Okay, I'm gonna add that to something I was already planning to do anyway. 
She's so stealthy. She is already very so stealthy. stealthy. That she's vanishing from herself. So much. I'm gonna split the party again by having Jem go outside. It's all good. Plus six, Gem. That's with all the pluses. You suck. My dice didn't like that. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. I love this plus six. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I want to know. I want to know everything that's happening. So much going on. <laughs> Why do I do this? Because it's, 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 it's exciting. It's fun. There we go. So much going on. But yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, he's like, you know, I, I hope these things are good for you. Um, obviously, there's someone, some weirdo outside waiting for me that I need to talk with. Come back when you figure out what the fuck Zarathos is up to or what's happened to him. Or if you just, you know, are, are done trying to figure it out and are ready to fight with us. We will be preparing for both situations. And I will when? be looking for a new eyeball. When will you be, when are when are you expecting a battle to happen? Honestly, sometime tomorrow night, around the tomorrow celebration. Night. We awesome. think. I'm not don't quote me here. I can't say anything. <laughs> we think they'll attack during this fireworks show that celebrates the commencement of the anniversary. Show I turned to Levitza and say before our show with the with Clarence or after. Are you asking when to go see Zarathos? No, I'm asking when that would be, when the commencement would be before or after the thing with Clarence. It would be after the thing with Clarence. After. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um Okay, I have no further questions. No further questions, Your Honor. One request, though. One request, Your Honor. When the creepy guy comes back in, Jem, who just left, might be with him, sneaking around, trying to hear what he's saying. Don't mind her? Persuasion roll? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Persuasion. Uh, I'm gonna. I have inspiration, so I'm gonna use it. Can you? I want to. I want. Oh, to... never mind. I have inspiration from the last game. Yeah, that's. I thought it was your inspiration, which, uh, by the way, you want to sing on your way out? <laughs> okay. Um, 17 plus 9 is, uh, 26? 26? I think? Yes. And you see him put on a pair of glasses? 
<laughs> he says, mm, I'll think about it. Wait, can I put on my glasses before I have said that so I get plus three to that charisma? <laughs> You can, you can, but I warn you, his his glasses may be better than yours. Twenty nine. Ooh, not bad. However, uh, just for some reference points, these are his glasses. Oh, oh, let me see. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh dang. But but mm -hmm. she's she means no harm. I just don't trust Wed. She, 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 like he says, he just goes, ding, I see. <laughs> just, <laughs> big brain mode glasses activate. <laughs> so a little bird told me to sing on my way out of here, so I am taking out my lute and just strumming as I walk away towards the door, I guess, is there? At which point, uh, when, when you do, uh, for whatever reason... Uh, Janarak is just like stands up and starts like doing the jig. Oh hell yeah! And I just start like going at it, you know, <laughs> shredding. And he, and he's, he's killing I'm it. Leaving, I am leaving after her. I'm staying back for just a second. Oh god, I feel like my players are um, doing secret things now. Ah! <laughs> question. Answer. Um, can I sneak back in the room before Wedge does? <laughs> and I'm singing so that she gets <laughs> she gets bardic inspiration. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. So wait, Don't you're you're trying to sw switch back into? Oh, you said you were following Wedge. That's right. Uh, yeah. The room right now. I'm trying. I want to get back in the room before Wedge does so I can try to hide in All right. the room. Alright, well... Um, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. You got bardic inspiration. Don't be suspicious. What is that, a D6? Give that me a... a give D6. me a... Just give me just a moment. D6. That was my last bardic inspiration. Hopefully we can sleep Who's soon. That? So don't fuck it up. I, I can just say my thing because I don't care if other people know. It's not even going to be really a question. It's just saying something. Uh, so I'll just, before I leave, I turn back to him and I just say. Oh. I don't do the no. Okay. I take no sides. I am, I am for balance. And to make this war not happen is balance. If you do anything to ruin that balance, I am not on your side. But that does not mean that I am on Zachary's side. This is for you to know. And I make peace with you now. I leave. And you encounter Gem just be. Or no. Carly, just you and Counter Carly, just saying, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Question: Would she still have that inspiration if she was aiming it towards me and I'm not there to receive it? <laughs> <laughs> also, did you roll more than 18 stealth if you're in the room? Because I was. I don't believe so. Uh, probably not. I mean, not. honestly, uh, you wouldn't even know that they're not there until you left the tent. Mm. And so you would like shoot no longer there. Yeah, you would shoot it out in that general direction. In fact, I, I can't remember if you need sight to do bardic inspiration or not. I believe I do believe it does require I think sight. so. Yeah. So that's probably no, the that limitation. Can hear you. No, it's that can oh, hear you. Oh, that can hear you. That's right. Okay. Uh -huh. You yep. would unfortunately still she would be out of bardic inspiration range. Ah. What? <laughs> Within <laughs> 60 feet and just has to hear you, yeah. <laughs> Which is interesting, because that's about the limit of area someone can probably hear you. It's 60 feet, so. After that, so, that shit starts kaying real hard thanks to the square law. So where is... Where is... Where is Jem? Where is Jem? I want to roll and... <laughs> <laughs> my friend is. I... I got 20. I've done what I did, and I followed Wedge. <laughs> 
20 plus 4, so 24. Where the fuck is she? So wait, what are you just like, what are you rolling? Perception to see where she is. Oh, well, you don't see her. No matter no matter how good you roll, you don't see her. You roll 100 on that d20, she still wouldn't be in your sight range. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're probably looking for investigation or survival, my friend. Investigation or survival? Uh, investigation is four, survival is four, so 24, either way. This is why you, I always require people to know what they're rolling before they roll, because then you can apply your roll to whatever. It's like, well, wait, which is my best stat? Well, I mean, to be fair, no, no, you're, you're good. I'm just saying, that's why I usually it's like, all right, roll after you know what you're rolling for. <laughs> all right, uh. so it looks like, uh, based on your ungodly intuition on your tracking skills, because the character doesn't have any actual tracking skills. No, no. Uh, I don't see anything. <laughs> oh God. All right. Uh, yeah, you see that there seem to be a couple sets of footprints uh, heading off in this direction. Uh, which direction? Oh, over in that direction. Yeah, and also Why since you have left the uh, thing, obviously these fire rings all disappear. The uh... okay. Yeah, all, all that good shit, you know. So, where's 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 Jim? Did I send Jim away to be kidnapped? I don't know. What did you send her to do? <laughs> I sent her to follow Wedge. Where's Wedge? Why would you send someone to follow someone? That's like. A terrible way to get someone kidnapped in the sink. It's true. It's Jeff probably is fine. Wait, did I put this in the wrong one? Jeff is my muscle. Of course she's fine. <laughs> it did a bit to follow me out. Well. fear here. There's genuine fear here, guys. This is why I love this. It's like, it's literally one second everyone thinks they know what's going on, and then the next second everything has changed because one person made a decision. Oh, did I make a bad? You, you may have. Might not even have been your decision. <laughs> ah. Lots of people make lots of decisions. <laughs> Just going back. There, Jim, she's gone. Where did she go? <laughs> that way. There's a book there. <laughs> I love it. It's literally like where everything was all good for a bunch of it. Everyone was on the same page, and then suddenly, boom! Why is she gone? I, you know, maybe Wedge took her. I uh... point out the footprints. Um, <clears throat> I don't... Yeah. Yeah, I did. My bad. All right, there we go. All right, you <laughs> you go ahead, and I will. I will I will stay here and see if she comes back, at any point. Did she come back <laughs> to this spot. Why wouldn't she just go to her tent? Oh, you think she just went to her tent? Maybe, I don't know. Where, where would Wedge take her? I don't trust that guy. So much mistrust of Wedge just because he fucked up in a fucking play. Yeah, I mean... You turned it into murder. <laughs> yeah, All right, I'm gonna, into murder. I'm gonna put on the glasses, I'm gonna make a perception check to see if I can figure out... To be fair, murder is intentional. And it wasn't intentional. Yeah, plus two. two to perception? Yeah, plus two to perception. Plus two. 
So I got a 14 plus 2, so 16 plus 6 is 22. Which is weird because it's only 4 better than passive. Okay, that's what I typed. survival the track okay i'll roll a survival because i'm super great at those but you will survive it's you will seven. survive it's oh, seven you... i don't think i'll survive no you're not surviving no but try. hey you know that they went this way yeah, if that makes that you way. feel any better. It does not. Anything from that though? Sorry, just checking something. There we go. And nope, even with that shit. You seemed to be around her the last time we were here. Do you think that there would be any other space that she might go to on this side? Not on this side. She would she would follow a wedge, so <coughs> so I, I think Thank you. I think we should head back. I'm hesitant, but I think we should head back. I need sleep anyway. All right. So I keep an eye out, but I do go and I head back where we came. I stick about 30 feet behind. Oh, you don't want to walk with me? No. Because I'm going to whisper to the doll. Fine. Seem, you seem to have an already relationship with this wedge. Do you know of anywhere where they might be going? We've hung around. Where? Actually, I would have to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I know the doll was taking places, but I don't know exactly where to be able to say it. I also don't know where I'm actually going. Axel, but I know where they have gone. Actually, can I just do a history check? Seriously typing. Let's say it. Sorry, okay. lots going on. No, it's, yeah, I'm sure. This is why I just kill characters, so it's like... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> so I don't have to deal with them anymore. <laughs> so that was, oh, uh... Lord. Wait, what's my thing? Because I rolled a six on my history. Oh god. I tell you all, I'm still rolling. Oh, history, I believe, is intelligence, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all my shit rolls goes to, like... Oh, something you. interesting to do and it's just like Dice yeah she's not gonna remember that because she's a did <laughs> <laughs> she could sell like a like a mask oh. she's a lovable creepy bits mm -hmm. this is gonna her be mind has gone away with <laughs> it's gonna be what what'd you say Alyssa? it's gonna be interesting <laughs> what is happening things We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> ah. Bonk. I feel. Part of me feels like this 
needs to be brought to the forefront now. I oh, there's a so. lot that's going to be brought to the forefront, I think, right about here. <laughs> ah. I think way back home. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was this way. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't remember. <laughs> Oh my word! <laughs> we li we literally just walked left when we got here. <laughs> okay, that's good. We came from here. <laughs> <laughs> we came from where? Just uh, zoom out, and I'm pinging it over and over. <laughs> okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. Oh god, I zoomed back in too much. <laughs> this is a comedy of errors. for joining me in this ping session. Oh my god. <laughs> so much. I think you were here. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I head that way. Holy so shit, a whole lot of stuff happened. I think it's about time we switch map, baby. Woo! Let's switch maps. Pink. Oh, no, I didn't get to finish my uh, message. Which we oh stopped. god, it's the forest again. We're back in the forest. I just need ah. to get rid of some people. Did, did you ever figure out, Diffie? I'm guessing no. Probably not, because well, sometimes... Intelligence check. Yeah, I had like, what? A six? Yeah. <laughs> and that's before I add my negative. <laughs> oh, so I no. think they went weak. <laughs> Oh, so you count like Jem does. <laughs> weast. They went weast. All right, we got so one. Jem was trying to count all of us. Fucking Azuva thought we were, thought she was spot on. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> She's like, why are you complaining? I see nothing wrong with this. <laughs> she was just like, why is everyone complaining? She's fucking counting. It's no big deal. <laughs> are, you sh are you sure that's two? Ah. So I think with the introduction of the new map and the timing, it's probably a good time to stop it for the night. It's a little bit shorter session, yeah. but that's okay. I think we did good things. Oh, man. I want to play this next bit out. <laughs> I need to know there seems to be so much going on. Oh, there is. So much oh. going on. I, I, I would be... I would be down to be one of the, the side plots next time and just see what's going on with the other people. <laughs> it's, yeah. I really, I gotta find a better, I got one, I gotta get better at messaging in the actual chat for Roll20. I gotta like get a fucking macro so I can just quick reply to you guys because legit, if people could see all the bullshit going on in the background, <laughs> oh my god. Like, dude, I, I've got a wall of text for like five people. <laughs> And I was not one of them, so it was yeah, everybody shit. else. Yeah, you are one of the. You shit are one of the. Of a... You were one of the smaller ones, and even you. Actually, yeah, you're I one of the smaller you ones. At all today. Yeah, this is. You were the f one, of, and that's only because your subplot is currently being explored. Yes. <laughs> that's one of the reasons is we are currently exploring your subplot. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. man, that's true. Right. I will say that one is also true. Uh, although you are working through a subplot with the other character, so by proxy you're working through a subplot. Much in the same way that even though Gamma didn't message me, he was proxy working through a subplot because he still got the doll thing going on. <laughs> there are plots within plots. I'm losing I, my I mind. Just, I want to know where Gem went. She went weak. I'm, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going to straight up apologize right now. I am so sorry, Jim. Oh no. You. What did you do? Who the characters for live? Ah. So, you know, you know, Jim. Ah. Jim is pretty much the only one that Carly cares about. So if you kill Jim, I'm. Oh, oh I, well, I, I, I didn't kill her. He's yeah, just I'm still alive, but no, um, just, uh... <laughs> I did a bad roll, which yeah, caused did. him to do a thing, which is about to cause another thing to happen. I think. 
Oh, dang! What happened? I'm gonna have some more undead friends. <laughs> Tell me what happened! To be fair, that's one. Friends. That's something I think we definitely need in this campaign. More undead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Raven Queen. I, I think that's also the reason we're getting listed and advocating to go to the south. Obviously, yeah. that's also where the plot is kind of moving, but this is like zombies. Yeah. I just have a feeling that there's some sort of like dark force down there or something. Oh, man. So, I'm interested. I, th- I feel interested. I feel like this is developing well. I... I usually start with a starting goal and an end goal. I have the premise, and I have where I hope you guys end up, or at least, like, kind of go in a general direction of it. Usually that doesn't happen at all. This is going great. Yay! (laughs) There's so much going on. Uh, As another DM, I... that's, That's amazing, because it's like... It's hard to just be like, okay, now what do I do when they go off track? I, I so will be, oh, you know, be doing what you're looking to do. Oh, it's. Good. I will say it's, and I've done stuff kind of similar, but never to this scale of having so many subplots of. And the reason I wanted to do it is I'm mimicking very much like different shows and styles of like writing and trying to figure out. All right, well, this is how a real world functions. Your mm-hmm. plot is not. The The only only plot. plot. Yeah, and just because, you know, your plot is not always going to be the furthered plot. Like, your plot might just have huge ramifications on someone else's plot, or someone else's plot has huge ramifications. I don't know. It's it's very interesting. And once again, as a storyteller, it's fun because with all these different moving pieces, if something starts to, like, fall off the edge of the storyline I have three different ways to kind of like poke at it until it goes back where I want it mm-hmm. granted I obviously have I'm always let you guys do what you feel like doing but I, I will also put big obstacles in the way <laughs> just oh, like God. those big things that we didn't even fight yeah <laughs> um yet <laughs> yet yeah, yeah we're still here <laughs> Oh, is that what happened? He is back for his fucking revenge. <laughs> he has an eye patch now, and sometimes, and somehow, within the last thirty minutes, he's had character development to have an eye patch. Oh, dude, you have no idea the amount of character development that has gone into this raccoon while we were talking. <laughs> He's gotten like a a squirrel army, and (laughs) you just come up and he has the Groucho marks and glasses. (laughs) You'll never find me, and then just disappears. Like who is it? I don't even know. Did Wedge fucking teleport Gem into the forest so she could be attacked by vines? No, no, (laughs) no, it's it's, not do that. In real life. Oh, ooh, but, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so are we IRL? We can IRL it right now. I don't mind. It's all up to you guys if you want to share stuff like that. I don't give a shit. What, what's right, going so... on right now? Yeah. That, right. that, Let's be real. I'm going to tell Ashley everything after this call ended. Yeah, we know. So basically <laughs> what happened was after I asked that text about and I had to have the one warming reception, <laughs> I left said tent. I cloaked figure, approached Wedge, gave him a note, I read the note, kind of shrugged, folded the note up, put it up in my leather jerkin in the folds, and then I walked off towards the north. And I followed. And, and in my walk towards the north, I ran into a plant monster. I tried to animal handle it, because I didn't know it was a plant monster, but then I found out it was a plant monster, so I couldn't animal handle it. So I used Long Strider and dashed around it. <laughs> I keep forgetting that Jewel is a part of this. Oh, yeah. Dude, you gotta remember, Jewel Jewel, Jewel and Diffie are both silent, basic characters. The fun part is they're they're essentially two opposite sides of the same coin. Diffie is her own character that 
has limited interaction with the whole map. She doesn't really do much, but she is her own autonomous character that decides what to do. Whereas Jewel exists somewhat as like a DM piece. However, she is everywhere doing everything because of that. Because of right. reasons. Having so, said that, just so you know, Michael, Jewel did, wasn't able to see you until uh, Jim showed up. That is when her character uh, got sight of you. And she okay, well, doesn't anymore yet. Was it when I became Con invisible? Yeah. Okay. Con continuing on, as I dashed past this plant monster, there was some more off in the distance. And I was like, well, shit. So I stopped and I did a stealth check to see if I could stealth away from him. I rolled a nat 20 on my stealth. No. Ah, yeah, two and After she revealed here. herself. Because I rolled a nat 1. Yep. Oh. Yeah. That was the two sides of that funny coin, which is, once again, why I wish I could show the chats and the different things, because you can see... <sighs> Michael's 20, but you can't see the one that she told me. I was like, Yeah, because. Yeah, you better. You want to run aware of this? Not one. <laughs> because there were audible reactions to that. <laughs> oh, oh, it was. Uh, uh, yeah, no. it was. It was allowed. And, do, Carl, the just walk in on this. and do the fact that Jem revealed herself. I saw her. I ignored her. You pieced into the bush. Yep, I pieced stealth into the bush. And I'm gonna continue on my way of where I was going. Swear to God, I'm gonna shoot you with my crossbow! <laughs> I am. He's just like, I just love it. He's like, after that reception I got coming back, it's almost like I shot someone or something. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a feeling that Jem Jem is about to fight a bunch of plant monsters. That is an oddly specific intuition. Well, <laughs> see what she sees. And I'm not feeling what can happen on my end. <laughs> it, it's not more of a if she was seen, it was if the plant monsters heard her stumble. She rolled it. On that one. It hurt her. So, so not only did she stumble, she made sound while stumbling. She stumbled to go, ah, fuck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I, I am sorry, but I'm, I'm just playing wedges of how he is. He is actually. You were following him. He didn't really care for it, the fact that you were following him <laughs> since you stumbled. And it's all like, well. I will, I will say this. With, with very few exceptions, everybody has played their character to great effect as far as characterization, which for me was really and is really an important part of these stories. I don't know if you noticed all of the very characterized NPCs I introduced. Yes. Hashtag Roy the Elephant Whisperer. <laughs> yep, even though Lauren, uh, if Lauren wasn't there, I got to enjoy it. It's, that's the fun part about these ones. It's like, you know, we're not all there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> because there's just so much going on. I mean, you've got the elephant juggling storm giant, the chess master troll, the fire breathing genie, Siegfried the mammoth, this fucking giant cat, which is one of my favorite new additions. <laughs> Clarence, God rest his soul. Paez, he's not dead, but serious. No, God he's rest not his dead. soul. This He's not dead. Leroy the transgender barmaid. Favorite character. He is definitely one of my favorite recent editions. And, of course, everyone's, uh, you know, the person everyone loves to hate, Steve the Intern. Also, <laughs> yeah. the yeah, Gassicus the Masochist was like a short time character, though. He wasn't like, yeah. he didn't hang I'm around still, too long. I still want to know why I know him. You don't want to know why you know him. Because you are a masochist in disguise. Or, or do you go to the masochist tent to see people in pain? Tr do you go truth, cause the pain? Tr yeah, yeah, I was going to gonna say, truth is, she used oh to work God, at the pain that she... Hashtag headcanon accepted. <laughs> I was 
was gonna say either she's a dominatrix or she's a sadist. I knew you were being really rough with that bush. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, I will also oh I also want to note there was a character that didn't get introduced this time that I really wanted to and no one did any perception checks of any type during that entire fucking encounter basically until it was too late because they were no longer around him but there was yeah, a fire here, there was a fire breathing tree <laughs> in the forest at one point that nobody found oh that's where the fire came from yeah I can't remember what I had to roll for the oh, yeah. fire. That actually was not the fire breathing tree, believe it or not. That was a whole oh, wow. nother thing. <laughs> and this, <laughs> this is a whole, like I said, there was a whole fight you guys avoided there. Just fucking straight, fucking stealthed and ignored it. You were just like, nope, not doing it. I, I bet it was, I bet it was the, the tree that you pointed out that could be climbed. Yeah, it was that one. Do <laughs> <laughs> you, you know the tree I kept telling you to climb? <laughs> I was like, yeah. you climb the tree. He's like, oh no, I don't want to climb a tree. The cum tree. Well, it's a kumquat tree, but I mean. Here's the thing. Once I thought about, oh, if I climb a tree, it's going to be hard for me to run up to someone to hit them. You just do a diving attack. I was going to say, that's when you just throw your staff at them. That's when you do the, like, cool downward sword thrust. It's like the only time you can do the cool downward sword thrust. That requires having a sword. You can also do a <laughs> super do awesome yeah. drop kick. Yeah, full melt. Okay, what, what, what is the elbow? Oh yeah, yeah, flying <laughs> elbow. Shit, dude, yeah. flying elbow from a tree, you'd like split someone in half. Oh wait, have you seen yeah. that American Dad one where Roger does that? That would yeah. also be when I roll another nat one. <laughs> Fair. I mean, not wrong, and then break elbow and all whole body, but. <laughs> <laughs> No, it, I, it was just one of those things, like, I was slips. I was this ready and this close to pulling out that fire-breathing tree, and, like, I was like, are they gonna do it? Are they gonna... Nope, they're avoiding the tree. All right, well, it's fine. It's just one of the many characters that were introduced today. God. I mean, then there's the, if I may, the, um, the crit I got. Oh, for a... fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, by the way, good job just killing random people, fucking Jewel. Are, are you even, what, what, uh, fucking alignment are you, by the way? I know that was not purposeful, well, I guess it wasn't you either. Whatever. Yeah, but good job, by the way. I don't even know how, I don't even know what you're gonna do about that. You still haven't even... Yeah, I don't know, other than she's trying, Lauren's doing, uh, making a beeline for where that area yeah, go talk to Clarence. Yeah, he he deals with stuff like that. I feel like that's just sparking up wrong tree. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously not, because it's not fire breathing. It's fine. Yeah, no, but still. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot going on. There's a lot that's enjoyable. There's a lot that's maybe a little I annoying, but that's also part of it. But no, I still don't find it funny because, um, not because of that, but how it ended in one fell swoop. Oh, I, I can't believe, I did a little, only on your part did I do the pushing together. Everybody else naturally, I guess I pushed Michael a little earlier, but I, that had been planned for a while, so that wasn't really a push. Whereas you were the only one that I pushed together at the last second so that everyone was on the same map and I didn't have to keep running back and forth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wedge, if it makes you feel any better, once Carly shoots you with a crossbow, she's probably not going to be mad at you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how alive you are. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. How did that work? Oh, man. Yeah, uh, but that's why. I'm going uh, wow, okay. to go ahead and carry the recording for now on that note. I mean, we always... <laughs>